do is we're going to glue this guy in here. Made a little notch here. That slides right into uh, this backbone here, the fish bone. A uh, little bit taller here, that's all right. We're going to come in there with the sander and grinder and uh, notch that down. I actually had to cut. Imagine this is the skin coming in. That's going to sit in there like that. I had to take out a little bit more. So that's why we're just going to set her back as far as we can, make the board as long as possible. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Though. Time to glue. And what I've done is I've notched this out here so that when the rail pieces come in, they're going to fit right in here and it's going to be nice and flush and aligned. I've also cut this V here to reduce weight and so I can get a clamp around here to clamp these rails in. Now here's a piece of the rail. This is actually uh, one of the structural pieces and there's a 3 8 rabbit under there. There we go. And that just sits snug under there and then this rail fits under all these little grooves in here. It's three eighths. Rails are going to be about a quarter. But I'll try and show gluing this uh, main support rail. So I, we, uh, you saw in my previous video how I ripped this uh, down to three eighths square. And that's actually fitting under these little uh, grooves and that's just going to add strength to, to these uh, ribs here stop them from flexing a little bit more and when I get in there and sand I'm gonna cut into this I'm not just gonna cut into empty air under there I don't imagine this to be fun so once we throw this glue on we're committed thick. The first layer of rails is going to be half an inch uh, wide and then we're going to switch that over to 3 8 just so I can do the radius. So here we go. Just watch me put the tongue on these rails. You can see it pretty good there. Now this is the first rail that's going down. So I've left the bottom on a 90 because that's going to sit flat on the bottom of the hull and also up against this rail support right here. Now after all this, it could be a while before I post any videos because this is all going to be repetitive. And it's going to take me, I can only lay one of these down a day because I only have enough clamps for one side. So this is going to take a month to do the rails or do the rails. So, uh, anyways, good times. Guess I won't be out on it this summer. Once again, the point of no return. first rail on either side is in. One mess up right there. 
You have to fill that with wood filler or something. Okay, now. See how this is on a radius right there? What I'm doing right now is I'm extending that to this. So I've also put a, a groove, like a tongue and groove on this, uh, this rail. And I've, I've put it on so that when it's turned like that and clamping, it's not going to destroy that groove because that is very, very fragile at this moment. It's been about three or four weeks now and you can see how high I've gotten up on these rails. There's a good shot there, you can see it kind of curling in. And these are staggered back because when the, the uh, decking comes on, it's gonna come out and be flush with that. This is all gonna have to be smoothed down. So I'm still not done the rails. As you can see right here, I've got a little bit more to come up. I just needed to get a video out. So that's where we're at. This has got to get all sanded smooth. This lip has got to get cut back. This is taking a while. This has got to get all trimmed, this corner piece. Um, these rails have to be flush with this. So like I said, when the deck comes on, everything's going to sit nice and flush. <clears throat> and this is the other side as well. So right here is where it steps down, steps down as the board gets thinner towards the front. So it's coming along fairly nicely. Um, next video I'm going to uh, shape all these nice and flat so that we can get the, uh, uh, the decking on. I've also put a block here. This is where the handle is going to be, so solid wood, real nice and sturdy. Um, I'm going to just take my block plane, sand it down, get it flush with the top. And this is where the, I'm going to router this out into a, a hole and the handle's going to fit in there. It's going to be epoxied. That won't be done until the uh, decking's on. Stay tuned. Lots more to come. A couple more months of work here.